What up everybody, Instructor Beats back again here with another surface area lesson. Today we're going to be finding the surface area of all types of pyramids. So, it's top secret, but because you're with Instructor Beats, let's check out our objective today. All right, our objective today. Today, I will be able to find the surface area of pyramids with different bases. All right, take a look at this. Write it down because this message will self-destruct in three, two, one. So our steps for finding surface area, okay? First, we're going to draw out each face and label the dimensions. Then we're going to find the area of each face. And then we're going to add up all those areas together. Let's take a look at these steps in action. All right, so our I do problem. Okay, our question says, what is the surface area of this triangular pyramid? So if you've been with us uh, for a while, you know what surface area is, right? And now we're doing it with pyramids. So here we have a right triangle that's gonna be the base, okay? We have a four, six, eight right triangle. And we have three lateral faces. Remember, lateral faces are kind of the faces on the side, right? Any, anything that's not the top or the bottom, okay? Um, and it's made up of three lateral sides, and it has a slant height of 10, and that's gonna be very helpful to us. So our steps for uh, finding surface area, right, is to kind of decompose it into the sides, find the measurements that you need, right, and then find the area of each face and add them together. A lot of times, they will use a net to help you see this. So a net, right, is a 2D pattern that can be folded to form a 3D figure. So here's kind of like this pyramid got cut along the edges right here and kind of fell apart, kind of like when you cut open a box, right, and you, um, and you take all the tape off and sometimes it just falls apart. And so a lot of times they use this net to help us. So a lot of times they use this net to help us kind of see all the different faces so we can figure out the area of each one. When I look at this net, it's kind of confusing to me, right? But you can see we have our right triangle right here, and then we have our lateral face right here that had the eight for the base, and it has a 10 for the slant height, which is now the height of this 2D triangle, which means all the other triangles are also going to have a height of 10. So now we can very clearly see all the faces that make up of our, our triangular pyramid. We just need to find the area of each one. So just for a second, let's make all the lateral faces disappear and let's take a look at our base and find out what the area of our base is, right? So here you can see that we're gonna be using four and six and um, we'll put the base over here, okay? So our base, which is highlighted in red, we're just gonna follow our area of a triangle form formula, right? So we have one half base times height. And so you, when you plug in four and six and you multiply that by one half, you're going to get 12. So the area of our base is 12 meters squared. And now we just have to find the area of each lateral face. So if I did this one in green, I'm just gonna kind of color code it so you can see right here, okay? So my uh, green lateral face, right? So I'll just put green right here just so you can kind of know what I'm talking about. Again, it's a triangle. And I see right here that the base of this triangle is eight, right? I have my eight right here and my height is 10. So if I do one half eight times 10, oops, there we go, put that in parentheses, I'm gonna get 40. So my green triangle has an area of 40 meters squared. I'll do this next one in blue right here. There we go. And you can see right here that the blue triangle has a base of six, right? Because it's the same edge of this six right here. And so I have my blue triangle and I know that my height of this triangle, because my slant height was 10, when I unfold it, all of these will also be 10. And so when I multiply that, one half times six times 10, I'm gonna get an area of 30 meters squared, all right? And my last one I'll do in purple right here, okay? There we go. Um, again, I'm gonna do purple. And I see that my base was gonna be four, my height is still 10, so one half times four times 10 would be 20 meters squared. And then to find the total surface area, right, the surface area of the entire triangular pyramid, I just need to add up all my sides. And when you do that, you're going to get a total surface area of 102 
meters squared. So a lot of people try to teach you to memorize these different formulas. What we just want to teach you here is this is the same exact thing that you've been doing if you've been following along with our surface area videos. When you find surface area, just decompose your shape into the different faces. Sometimes it will be a net. Sometimes you could just draw them out like we've did in previous lessons. Whatever you feel comfortable with, find the area of each face and then add them together. Let's take a look at a we do problem. Now our we do problem is a little bit different. Okay, it's still it's saying if you wanted to completely cover the shape with black paint, how much paint would you need to cover it? So we know that when we are covering something, right, especially with paint, wallpaper, different things like that, we're trying to find the area. How many square feet of paint will we need to cover this pyramid? Now this one's a little wonky because it has a trapezoid as a base, okay? And then it has one, two, three, four lateral sides because it's going to have one connected to each side of my trapezoid. So again, a lot of times they're going to use a net to kind of unfold this shape and give you a 2D representation of it that you could kind of fold back together at the end and glue the edges back to make this pyramid. But here's what this net would look like. So just like our previous question, we need to find the surface area of the base and then all the lateral faces and add them together. Let's focus on this trapezoid base first. So some of you guys are, may already know the official formula to find the area of a trapezoid. I'm not really big into those formulas because it was always hard for me to memorize 20 different formulas when if I can just remember all area formulas come from length times width and then use my length and width and my triangles and my rectangles to help me figure out different areas. I can remember that, but it was hard for me to memorize stuff. So when I find the area of a trapezoid, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into two different triangles right here, okay? And I'm going to find the area of each of these triangles. Now you can see right here that my base for this red triangle, okay, is going to be 9. So, okay, my area of a triangle is going to be 1 half, 9. And then my height of this triangle is going to be 4. That's because if I kind of drop this down right here, this would be parallel with this, so it would be 4. So when I multiply that, I find the area of this first part of my triangle to be 18 square feet. Okay, there we go. The second part I'll just do in black right here, but you can see the second triangle that I just made, which again is going to have a height of 4. Okay, so my area, my black triangle is going to be 1 half. I know the base of this triangle would be 7. Okay, my height was 4. And when I find the area of that, that would give me an area of 14 feet squared. So when I add these together, my base has a total area of 32 feet squared. So to keep track of that, I'll put my base over here equal 32 feet squared. And now I need to find the area of all my lateral sides. So let's take a look at this green uh, lateral face first. Okay, so our green, let's go ahead and put that right there. And we see the base is 9. Now the slant height of my pyramid was 12 right, which means the height of all of these triangles that make up my lateral faces will also be 12. So when I do 1 half times 9 times 12, my green lateral face is going to be 54 feet squared. Now I can see right here my purple triangles or my purple lateral faces had the same base and they're going to have the same height, which means they're actually going to have the exact same area. So I'm going to just say purple and I'll write purple again. Okay, just because I had two of them. And I see my base is 6. Again, my height would be 12. Okay, and so when I do 1 half 6 times 12, each of those had an area of 36 feet squared. And then my last lateral face we'll do in blue. And again, you're kind of getting the picture, right? It doesn't matter what the pyramid is. If you can make the net or decompose the sides, you're doing the same thing over and over again. It's just the shapes might change, right? So here we have the same triangle, except it's going to have a base of 7. So I have 1 half 7 times 12, and I'm going to get that my blue lateral face had an area of 42 square feet, which means now all I need to do is add all these together. And when I add all those together, the total amount of paint I would need to cover would be 200 square feet. All right. So you're kind of getting the picture, you're dealing with nets. Again, just like our previous lessons, you can draw these shapes just kind of by each other. You don't need to make it into a net if that's confusing to you. Do what feels right to you. You're still doing the same thing. You're finding the area of each face and adding them up.
So here we have our U-try problem, right? So our U-try problem says Brian forgot about his friend's party and decided that this square pyramid would be the perfect gift. What a great gift giver, right? If he wants to wrap the entire pyramid, what is the area he needs to cover? So again, we're talking about wrapping something, right? That's a key word that we hear a lot for surface area because we want to cover the entire area of the pyramid. I don't know why you'd want to give a square pyramid, but you might want to. So when you're ready, go ahead and pause the video. You can draw out the net if you know how. You can just decompose it and draw the different faces by each other. It doesn't matter. But go ahead and pause the video. Try to get this answer. And when you're ready, push play to check your work. Go ahead and pause it right now and push play when you're ready. So hope you at least tried it. Here's the net that you might have drawn. Because I know that this is a square, right? All the triangles are going to have a base of 5 right? And all of them are going to have the same height, which was eight, because that was the slant height of my pyramid. So I could probably do this one pretty quick. I know that the area of my base is going to be 25 square centimeters. And again, because all the bases are the same and all the heights are the same, all these triangles are going to be the exact same. So if I find the area of one of them, I could just multiply that by four, and that would give me my four lateral faces, right? So I'm going to just say green, and we're going to multiply this by 4, again recognizing that all these are the same triangle. And so 1 half times 5 times 8 is going to give us 20. So if I multiply 20 times 4, all my lateral faces together had an area of 80 centimeters squared. When I add that together, I get a total surface area for this pyramid of 105 centimeters squared. So poor Brian, who will no longer be a good friend because he gave him a square pyramid, needs to buy 105 centimeters squared of wrapping paper. All right. So hopefully this made sense to you. If not, it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. Go back, rewatch the video, see where your mistakes were and how you can get better. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We know there's lots of different options online. We appreciate you spending your time with Instructed Beats. Please like, comment. Subscribe, join our Instructor Beats family, check out all our merchandise at instructabeats.com. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats out.